Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be reviewing Episode 2, so I'm going to do my best to get a trailer breakdown out later tonight, but I can't promise that because I am not home right now, and I don't have my laptop charger, so I'm really running on low. But anyway, so let's review Episode 2, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about what happened at the start of the episode. We had a lot of this near and brainy stuff, which continued later into the episode. And I have to say straight away, this episode, I really did like it. I thought it was very good, and I thought it was an uh, improvement even on episode one. I enjoyed it. Obviously, there wasn't like too much going on in the episode. I think the biggest stuff was Malafaic and the stuff of Lena and the sort of cliffhanger we left on with that. But... It's still nevertheless a good episode, and so yeah, talking about the near and brainy stuff, there's the breakfast scene, which was really cute, and then the fact that Brainy is sending like these piles of sushi and shit like that, that is so funny, and that is completely him, and then how he's sort of, by the end of the episode, he's sort of shifting, he's like, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, I'm just gonna read you poetry, and it was really funny, I really liked that. And thought that was a good bit of the episode. Like I said before, the main stuff in this episode really is Malefaic because he is the main villain of the first half of the season, really. And so he's there, he fights John, and John has to confront his mind and you know everything because they are connected together. It's revealed in this episode, and by the end, they're able to heal their connection in their minds because there is a strong strain on both of them, as you see in the episode. And they do it through Kelly's Q waves, which obviously is from Obsidian Tech. So that's a way that they are, you know, incorporating Obsidian so they could, you know, make it all work together. And, you know, it's not an excuse. It's a real thing. So their minds are fixed. And we'll get back to Malefic in just a minute. But anyway, so talking about Lena, because she has a big part in this episode. And so does Eve. So Eve returns and she's been captured essentially by Lena and so she's in this cage and she actually by the end of the episode she merges Eve with Hope, Lena's machine. So that's really interesting and I thought that was the best part about the Lena storyline and you know where it's going on. I felt like this episode there was a lot of sort of unnecessary talk from Lena sort of trying to explain her like how she's doing it like we get it we kind of know i i felt like maybe the showrunners self and the writers went a bit overboard with like the explanations to do with what she was doing and trying to justify it like i kind of get it by now what you're doing and yeah maybe that was a bit too long but then i loved the ending with her actually merging with hope the machine that lena has and so her looks are different she's got straight hair she sort of looks a bit like a kind of robot or like a how you would imagine like a clone or something like that so very interesting right there and so Lena becomes obsessed with reprogramming humanity and that is a lot of the talk in this episode and I felt like maybe they just did a bit too much to do with it but like she was good I thought Katie did a very good job with what she was given but anyway so let's move on so Kara versus Andrea and William at Catco. So this is a fairly big part of the episode. William actually ends up following Kara and she he obviously sees Supergirl and so I don't think he clocks that, you know, she's Supergirl or anything like that. But anyway, so he's snooping and, you know, he's not being very, you know, very nice. He's being very freaking creepy, but also he's being a bad colleague. And so later in the episode, Kara confronts him to you know get at him because he's doing all this he's stealing her articles and everything like that so i thought that bit was interesting I i'm not the biggest fan of william or andrea yet i think what they do every season they always introduce like a few people at catco who tend to be really annoying like you remember snap a car or you remember you know morgan edge yeah, i know he wasn't at catco but you know sort of similar roles they always tend to get those people and then they go away after a season i've got the feeling that's going to be Andrea, but also William, definitely William, I think William's going to go away, but I mean, they're all right right now, like, I'm not a big fan of them, but I don't hate them yet, like, I think Andrea's better than William, like, I'm not so sure about the actor for William, but that's just me right now, and so, going back to Jean, so Jean remembers his past, and 
his brother and you get to see this through sort of this blank slate in his mind and he starts to slowly remember what happened and he sees flashes of his brother helping the white martians and putting a curse on these people and it's eventually revealed he was sent to the phantom zone due to him working with the white martians to defeat the green martians obviously we don't have the exact reasoning for why he's helping the white martians yet but other than we know he's evil but anyway so this leads to the question is Jean evil because he questions what does he know about himself because you know if he doesn't know these memories if he doesn't know you know what's happened to him in the past was he evil before was he bad or was he actually good like he has no idea and he's gonna start to question himself so just to quickly say if you've noticed a difference in the mic I've used a different mic I'm in a different location now so I can edit this video okay so let's get back on track so Malefic is working with a white martian it turns out it was never explained what white martian but it's a white martian that he obviously knew or was in contact with and so he dies that being the white martian Malefic escapes and at one point he pretends to be kelly and alex finds out via the blueberry pancakes thing that they were talking about earlier in the episode and so we at that point know obviously oh shit this is not kelly this is actually Jean's brother and so Alex realizes and then Alex is actually knocked out she's put in the toilet and then Alex this fake version of Alex who is obviously Malafaic then tries to actually trick Supergirl into thinking that he's actually Alex and so then a fight pursues and it's probably probably my favorite bit of the episode Alex fighting Supergirl like it's such a cool concept and I thought it was very well done and it was just super entertaining seeing the Danvers sisters fight each other and you know Kelly turns up and she's like why is Alex and Supergirl fighting so yeah I really love that bit. that was my favorite bit of the episode okay so moving on and nearing the end of the episode we get a few different cliffhangers that obviously are going to be resolved sometime in the next few episodes but also continued as storyline and so obviously the thing that i talked about earlier with the cliffhanger to do with lena and also eve and you know her merging with the ai that lena created that's going to be a big thing going forwards at least in the first half of the season so i believe at one point Lena's going to be caught by Supergirl because, you know, she's scheming behind Supergirl's back, you know, because that is her main purpose. Just because Kara lied to her that she was not Supergirl and then she's taken it to heart and she now doesn't trust humans. She wants to create the perfect human, essentially, is what she was trying to say throughout this episode. And so the perfect human is essentially what you see with this new version of Eve and she's going to be sticking around doing some stuff obviously working for Lena and I think she may be fooling a lot of the members of Team Supergirl early on in the season and so I reckon you'll see Eve around a bit more. And also talking about the next big thing, one of the other cliffhangers was with Jean's brother Malefaic and so he is to reset his brain, that is what he was saying at the end of the episode, he's talking to someone in the mirror, maybe it's like a different version of his inner conscious that he's talking to but it's certainly not like that version of himself because he was moving in sort of a different way and it was kind of like Scooby-Doo you know when Scooby or Shaggy like look into the mirror and then they do a different action to what's happening in the mirror so I'm not sure maybe it is someone from the past maybe it's someone he worked with on Mars but from what I saw like I could be wrong and it could actually just be him talking to himself but I'm pretty sure it's someone else but I'm, I'm presuming it's going to be some sort of like inner conscious inside of him, like an inner voice. And so he's going to reset his brain, which may cause the reset in John's brain because they are connected. Very curious to see how that goes. And so I think Malefic is going to stick around till just before Crisis. He's going to be the main villain and then we'll get into the Leviathan stuff, obviously to do with Eve. And she actually referenced them this episode, talking about how she was recruited as like an early teenager, and how if she says anything they will literally kill her because they are everywhere and they hear everything. So that's going to be slowly sort of filtering into the season. Hopefully they are a bit more prominent than say Red Daughter was, because that was a really slow burn and it got really good when Red Daughter showed up but like she should have been in more of last season so I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of Leviathan and hopefully they're really good so that is about it for this review hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment 
My trailer breakdown will be out later tonight, fingers crossed. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.